Hello, and thank you for joining me today for a recording of our live Slow Hatha Flow class from Inside Timer. If you would like to join us for one of our live sessions, you can find the links to our profiles on Inside Timer in the description below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications for this channel to stay informed about future events, offerings, and other live sessions. This class is available for all levels, and a reminder that this is your practice, so do what feels good in your body. Namaste. Well, we'll get started in a comfortable seat. So any comfortable seat for you. Any place where your hips can release, your spine can look tall, your arms can let go. knowing that this is your practice. So allow you to feel good. So as we move, if we move anywhere that doesn't feel quite right, please take a little extra time to find that space that you can be in, that you can breathe, Always welcome to take anything a little bit deeper if you know where that space goes. So as you breathe, noticing where in your body your breath is moving. Noticing any resistance or hesitation within your breath. And taking one deep clearing breath, a full deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Allowing a slow, steady breath to find you. And allowing your awareness to stay with your breath here following it as it moves into your chest, lungs, pressing down into your belly. And slowly releasing back into the space around you. One deep clearing breath, full deep breath in. A big audible sigh out. Oh. Allowing anything to shake loose. Your next inhale, sweeping your arms overhead to reach tall. As you exhale, side bending towards the right, releasing your right hand down beside you, left arm reaching overhead. One more full deep breath in and out. As you inhale, coming back through center to reach tall. Exhale, side bending towards the other side. Left hand coming down beside you, right arm reaching overhead. Allowing your chest to roll open, your outer right hip to draw down.
One more full breath here, deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, coming back through center to reach tall. Exhale, releasing your hands behind your back about a foot or so. Your hands can be facing towards your hips, sides, or out behind you, taking a big shoulder roll, allowing your chest to begin to press up. Shoulder blades tucking towards each other and down your back. You can take your head and neck wherever feels comfortable for you, maybe gazing forward, maybe gazing up, maybe lifting your chin up towards the ceiling. One more deep breath in and out. Soft bend to your elbows, release your shoulders, coming back through center. We're gonna move into a forward fold. If you wanna switch up the cross of your legs or find any shift of your hips, you're welcome to do so. When you're ready, letting your arms start to walk out long and then slowly beginning to fold. And taking one more full breath right here. Deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, rising high into your fingertips. Then walking your hands over towards the right side of your mat. Almost to the point where your abdomen is above your right thigh. Taking a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly folding here and letting your right side body find some length, reaching long through your fingertips. One more full breath here, breath in. And out, rising high into your fingertips, coming back through center, and walking your hands back towards your legs. I'm gonna switch up the cross of your legs, or however your legs are, if they're asymmetric. Finding your length here once more, and slowly walking out long. Taking as many breaths as you need here in the center. When you're ready, slowly walking your hands over towards the left side. Again, allowing your abdomen to come above the left thigh or over towards that side of your mat. One more breath here, deep breath in and out. Rising onto your fingertips, coming back through center and walking your hands back towards your hips and slowly making your way into your tabletop. You can rock over your shins or swing your feet around towards the sides. Once we're in our table, finding a light shift of your hips side to side or cat cows or any movement or motion that feels good. Feeling how your hips, your spine, your shoulders feel today. And 
And taking another breath or two to even out your movements. We're gonna find a little bit deeper versions of cat-cow. So when you're ready, finding your neutral spine, just taking one breath here, a full breath in. And out. Your next inhale, drawing your belly towards your mat, taking a big shoulder roll, letting your chest draw forward. Full deep breath in and out. Another deep breath in. And as you exhale, finding your cat rounding from your hips up through your spine, and beginning to press in that, into that space between your shoulder blades. Full deep breaths in and out. One more breath here, deep breath in and out. Your next inhale, moving right into your cow, shifting from your hips, opening your belly, chest, drawing forward. Exhale, your cow or your cat, rounding your shoulders, pressing through that space between them. Inhaling back to your neutral spine, you're taking one more round of your cat-cow here. I'm gonna move into a slight twist here. So when you're ready, grounding into your left palm. As you inhale, letting your right arm open up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Your next inhale, finding space between your shoulders, reaching your fingers as tall as they can. As you exhale, threading your right arm underneath and coming either having your right shoulder lifted or coming down onto your right shoulder, if that feels okay. One more full breath here, a deep breath in and out. Grounding into your left palm as you inhale, letting your right arm come all the way back up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, releasing your right hand down. And we're gonna move on to your other side, beginning to ground into your right arm. Inhaling your left arm up towards the ceiling, pausing here, finding this length, the space between the joints. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, threading your left arm underneath, either letting the shoulder be lifted or coming all the way down onto your shoulder. One more breath here, deep breath in and out. Grounding into your right palm as you inhale, letting your left arm open up towards the ceiling. Exhaling, releasing back down to your mat. And curling your toes and finding your downward facing dog. Maybe a pedal of your feet, bending one knee and then the other shift of your hips or anything else that might feel good here. As 
Eventually settling in to your downward facing dog, finding some stillness. Stillness in your body, slow, steady breath. Your next inhale, rising high into your toes, and walking your feet towards your hands, maybe your hands back towards your feet, and finding a gentle forward fold, a soft bend to your knees. You can shake your head yes and no. You could shake your head maybe. Taking a slightly deeper bend into your knees and slowly rolling up to stand. Taking a big shoulder roll at the top. And two or three more. And finding your Tadasana, your mountain pose. Your feet can be together, maybe about hip width apart. Standing as tall as you can. Noticing the ground beneath your feet. The air as it touches your skin. Noticing this breath. Full deep breath in. And out. Your next inhale, sweeping your arms overhead to reach tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling to your half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Pausing here for a breath, a full deep breath in. And out. Inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling to your half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall. Exhale, hands to your heart center, pausing for another breath, a deep breath in. And out. Inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall. Pausing here, we're gonna find another side bend. Taking your left wrist with your right hand as you inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, side bending towards the right. Allowing your chest to roll open. Navel, low ribs, hugging in. One more deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, coming back through center to reach tall. Finding your side bend over onto the other side. Taking your right hand, right wrist with your left hand. Inhale to reach long. Exhaling over towards the left. Finding your slow, steady breath in. And out. Next inhale, coming back through center, reaching tall. Exhale, forward fold, coming all the way down. Inhaling, finding your half lift. Exhale, forward fold, and we're gonna pause here in your active forward fold. 
You can have your hands onto your legs, to the ground, or any other bind that might be in your practice. Maybe you're big, taking your big toes with your peace fingers today. Taking a deep breath in to find your length, and as you exhale, finding your fold. Wherever you end up, drawing the crown of your head towards the ground, and your hips up towards the ceiling. Taking one more breath here, deep breath in and out. Gently releasing your binds if you have them, inhaling to your half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, bending into your knees and rolling up to stand. Taking that big shoulder roll at the top. And two or three more. Pausing here for one more deep breath in. And out. You inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling to your half lift. Exhale, we're gonna step our right foot back into your low lunge. So right foot steps back, right knee comes down onto your mat. As you inhale, letting your hips begin to draw forward and down. Staying right here with your hands on the ground, maybe drawing your hands to the blocks or up to your left knee. Wherever you end up, letting your hips continue to draw forward and down. Taking one more deep breath in. As you exhale, letting your hands come down to frame your, your left foot, slowly beginning to straighten into your left leg, finding our half splits. Think about the right hip above your right knee, maybe the left foot scoots out a little bit. Taking a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly to fold. full deep breath in and out as you inhale slowly beginning to lengthen into your spine we're going to find a little bit of rotation in our body here so letting your left hand come over towards the right side i'm going to continue to walk your hands over towards the right side of your mat letting your right foot rotate about 90 degrees left foot coming down we're going to find your gate pose so you can stay right here with your hands on the ground underneath your shoulders. Maybe letting your hands walk out long in front of you, thinking of your downward facing dog or your puppy, chest drawing down towards the ground. So letting your right hip be right above your right knee. One more 
breath here, a deep breath in and out. Walking your hands back underneath your shoulders and then continue to walk and walk them over towards the back side of your mat. Now we're going to come into your low lunge on this side, letting your left knee come down, stepping your right foot forward, hips drawing forward and down. And stay with your hands on the ground, maybe moving up to your right knee or blocks. breath here, a deep breath in and out. Letting your hands come down to frame your right foot and straightening into your right leg, finding your half splits on this side. Left hip above the left knee, maybe the right foot scoots out. Taking a breath in to find your length and a breath out to find your fold. Deep breath in and out. As you inhale, finding length through your spine, then walking both hands over towards the left side. And then coming around to the side of your mat, we're going to find that gate pose variation over on this side of your body. So taking a deep breath in, maybe keeping your palms underneath your shoulders or letting your arms start to walk out long. Maybe find a downward facing dog variation where your shoulders are in line with your wrists and your hips, or letting your chest begin to press down towards the ground. One more breath here, deep breath in and out. So you inhale, rising back up, letting your hands walk underneath your shoulders, then walking back towards hopefully the top of your mat. Then we're gonna step your left foot back to meet your right into your plank, the top of your push up. Staying right here, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, lowering a chaturanga or a knees, chest, chin. Inhale, your upward facing dog or cobra. You can stay here as long as you need. And as you exhale, finding your downward facing dog. As you inhale, rising high into your toes and walking your feet towards your hands. Maybe your hands back towards your feet. And finding a soft forward fold once more. Stay here, maybe taking your opposite elbows. Your feet can be hip width, maybe a little bit wider. You can find a little rock side to side. If you have opposite elbows, gently to release. And we're gonna find your squat, your malasana. You can have your feet hip width, maybe a little bit wider. Feet can be parallel or flared to the sides. Letting your hips begin to settle down. You can pause anywhere that feels good for you. Feels good in your ankles, knees, hips. 
or settling all the way down into your squat. Maybe your hands come to your heart center. You're always welcome to have a block underneath your hips, a blocker three, depending on where you are today. We're taking one more deep breath, a full deep breath in. And out. And then slowly making your way down into a seat. You can bring your hands behind your hips and letting your hips settle down or any way that feels good for you. But initially, let your feet stay nice and wide on your mat, a bend to your knees and a windshield wiper side to side. And moving into our bound angle, your Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together, heels coming tight towards your hips. Taking a deep breath in to find length. And as you exhale, letting your knees begin to press out and down. Staying right here, maybe beginning to lean forward. Maybe a fold forward or around. But wherever you end up, allowing your legs to stay active and strong, knees drawing away from your hips. One more breath, a deep breath in and out. As you inhale, slowly rising up. And you're going to let your feet scoot a little bit further away from you. Nice diamond shape. So you're thinking about the same distance from heels to groin as from knee to knee. Taking a deep breath in to find your length and a breath out to find your fold. If you have any discomfort in your knees, you can always find some support underneath the block, a bolster, or anything you need. But imagining your forehead resting on the soles of your feet. One more deep breath here, a deep breath in and out. So you inhale, rising back up. And letting your legs scoot all the way out long in front of you. Find your Paschimottanasana, your seated forward fold. Your feet can be together, hip width or a little bit wider. You can have straight legs or a bent knee. Taking a breath in to find your length and a breath out to find your fold. One more breath, a full deep breath in and out. 
As you inhale, slowly rising back up. I'm going to move into your Janu Shirshasana, bringing the sole of your right foot to your left inner thigh. Taking a breath in to find your length and squaring your upper body over your extended leg, your left leg. Full breath in, and as you exhale, slowly beginning to fold. more deep breath in and out as you inhale slowly rising back up we're going to move on to the other side letting your right leg extend out bringing the sole of your left foot to your right inner thigh taking a deep breath in to find your length squaring over your right leg and as you exhale slowly folding One more full breath in and out. As you inhale, slowly rising back up. Letting your left leg extend out long. And we're going to slowly roll all the way onto your backs. Once you're there, letting your knees begin to hug into your chest. You can find a light rock side to side some circles of your knees around your hips. Staying right here, finding your happy baby, letting your knees begin to draw towards your armpits, maybe your feet up to the ceiling. You can take a hold behind your thighs, ankles, maybe your feet. Wherever you end up, allowing your shoulders to relax down to your mat, to the ground. Still allowing your chest to open here. One more deep breath in and now letting your knees hug back into your chest then bring your feet down onto your mat we're gonna find your bridge or a back bend here so if you have a block and want to come into a supporter bridge going to offer a couple different variations of a supported bridge. If you don't have a block, you can always use a pillow or anything else just to bring distance between your hips and the ground. Or you can welcome to find an active bridge here, letting your hips begin to lift. Whenever you're ready, find that deep tuck of the shoulder blades underneath you. You can place your block underneath your hips. Trying to find that flat spot on your sacrum. And if you need to adjust your block a bunch of times, that's perfectly okay. You're welcome to stay right here with your block on any height, 
Any amount of lift of your hips up toward the ceiling. Staying right here, maybe letting your feet start to walk out a little bit longer in front of you. Maybe you let your feet walk all the way out long. Feet are walked out long, slowly walking your feet back towards your hips. If you're still holding your active fold, your active bridge, slowly let your hips release down. If you're supported, taking as much time as you need to come off of your support. Maybe find a little winter wiper if your knees side to side. You're going to move into a reclined twist. You can have your knees together stacked or you can have your left leg out long. You're going to twist over towards your left side. So your right knee bent coming across your body. One more full breath here, deep breath in and out. Slowly coming back through center. Then pausing here in the middle, realigning your hips, your spine, your breath. And then moving over onto the other side. Twisting over towards your right, taking the same variation you took over on the other side. Maybe your knees together with the right leg out long, left knee coming across your body. One more deep breath here, a full breath in and out. Slowly coming back through center, readjusting, realigning your hips, your spine, and coming into one final posture or one final or half of a final posture before your Shavasana. And move into your reclined pigeon. So letting your right ankle come across your left knee, left foot on your mat. Maybe the right knee begins to press away from you. If you like, you can always hug your left knee in towards your chest. You can hold behind the thigh, maybe your shin, or any other variation that feels good.
And one more deep breath in and out. And gently releasing your left foot down and your right to find a little bit of movement or stillness. Then we're gonna move on to the other side, left ankle over top of your right knee. And letting the left knee press away, maybe the right knee begin to hug into your chest. Taking hold of wherever feels good, maybe behind the thigh, shin, knee. your right foot down and then your left finding any final movements or motions before your final shavasana your final relaxation letting your legs extend out long or having a bent knee finding a space where you are most comfortable. Taking up as much space as you need to expand into that being. And once you find a place where you can release and let go, Allowing your breath to slow. Allowing control of your body to let go. Allowing control over your thoughts to go.
coming back to your breath and to your body. to this time and space. Allowing with each breath, life, energy, and movement to make its way into your fingers and toes your arms and legs, back into your head and neck. Eventually making your way up into a comfortable seat, pausing somewhere along the way for one deep clearing breath. Full deep breath in and out. Thank you all so much for sharing your time, space, and energy with me and with each other this morning. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Namaste.